In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight points infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, this is the step number one with two different color combination. Then for that, you can add the circle with the icon and then you can add the title and the detailed text. And this is for the step two with a different icon, step three, four, five, six, seven and step eight. And in the center, you can add the main title or the headline here. Likewise, I have created one more slide which is a similar one but it is a less smaller but with detailed text. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles, select the rectangle rounded corner, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease the size, shape outline, make it no outline and duplicate this by pressing ctrl D, you can see here and then I'm just going to give some other color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to you can see the position this particular rectangle maybe like this and increase the size so that it should be a bigger than the first one all right and this one i want to make it somewhat curve okay and you can see here this also if you want to make it curve you can make it or i can just bring it down this part which are the blue is visible that only i'm going to keep it and the rest i want to delete it so you have to position it something like this or if you want you can just make it further down also all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select the bigger rectangle under format shape merge shape i'm going to subtract it so i end up getting a shape something like this and again i'm going to cut the bottom part for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle just highlight only the bottom part we can see here then i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape again subtract so we got this shape now i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here let me just give some other color combination then go to rotate i'm just going to make it flip horizontal and then you make it flip vertical and you just join it at the bottom and you have to just make sure that it is properly aligned you can see something like this so we end up getting a shape something like this so what i'm going to do i'm going to hold the shift key select both the shapes press ctrl g to group it you can see here let me just put it here go to view enable the guides and then i'm just going to add it one here okay press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and this one first of all i need to just rotate it you can see here flip horizontal and make sure that it is got the equal spacing there and then i'm going to add few more press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add something like this we can see here give some space and again press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm just going to rotate it you can see flip vertical and then i'm just going to put this one here again give a little gap between this maybe this much size then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl d bring this here it doesn't matter even if it is going down doesn't matter later on we can reduce it and just make sure that it is properly aligned now i'm going to select this one you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and then just attach it here again make sure that it is properly aligned all right and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here sorry bring it here give some gap and then i'm just going to add one more which is let me just select this one press ctrl d and then just add it something like this then i'm going to select all the objects press ctrl a ctrl g to group it 
hold the shift key reduce the size depending on your requirement you can see here if you want to increase the width also you can increase it you can see something like this and then format shape align center align middle so we end up getting shape something like this and then let me just right mouse click group and ungroup it now depending on the requirement you can change the color of each shape so depending on the requirement you can just choose any color let me just select this i can make any color combination one you have to make it light and another you have to make it dark color combination you can see something like this so you can just choose any color of your choice i'm just choosing this one and this would be darker all right and again i'm just selecting this maybe i can just give some a light color combination the green and the dark green you can see here so likewise you can just change the color combinations for the rest of the options then i'm going to add the oval shape in between this one for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape from the basic shapes hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle you can see here let me just reduce it a little bit so i think this is fine or let me just reduce it further a little bit i think this is okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give the outline shape outline i have to give the outline which i have selected this color okay and shape fill i have to give it no fill and then let me just increase the width go to format shape under lines increase the width you can see here maybe you can give uh, 3.5 and the background color i just want to change to some light gray color you can see something like this and this one i'm going to make it shape fill as white okay then press ctrl d to duplicate and add these you can see here press ctrl d I'm going to add it here control D it will come here so just add for all the options one by one and later on we can just align it so and this let me just select both of this press control D to duplicate and bring the other side of this let me just okay then what you can do is later on you can just select one by one go to format shape and align it you can see here something like this you need to align it again this one and sorry this one you need to align it this and this you need to align it so just align it so that you get a, a perfect alignment for the shapes now once this is done uh, what you can do is you can add some icons to add the icons go to insert and make sure that you are using the latest version if you are using the older version like 2016 13 7 or 10 then these icon features are not available this is available only in office 365 and powerpoint 2019 version uh, if you don't have this one, I have provided a separate icons uh, in my channel. You can just explore it and download it for free and use it. So let me just use the icons here and I'm just going to select some random icons which I want eight icons. So you can see here I can just choose any icon of my choice. So four, five, six, maybe seven and eight and insert bring the other side and the height and width let me just make it 0.5 only i'm going to make it half size and then start putting one by one on each circle something like this you can see here so i'm just putting some random icons so depending on your requirement you need to change the icons so let me just put it one by one so this will come here this will go here let 
let me just put the last one now this is the last one so something like this okay now the basic design is ready now you can just change the outline based on this one for example this outline i'm just going to select then the outline color i'm going to choose this color okay again for this outline you need to check the select this color so like this you need to just change the color of uh, each one now all this uh, the basic design is ready as i said it's time to add the detailed text so go to insert text box i'm going to say step enter key 0 1 center align make it white font make it bold and i'm going to choose the font century gothic or any other good font you can just choose and i'm just going to place it here this is my step one press ctrl d to duplicate this is the step two first let me just put it and then we can just change the text uh, later on so you can see here press ctrl d so almost uh, the options we are copying now and then we need to add some the title and the detailed text so let me just put it here press ctrl d again and then i'm just going to put it here so this is the step one this is the step two this is three this is four five six seven and step eight all right then go to insert text box and i'm going to add the title if you want you can make it bold change the font according to your requirement and go to insert text box and i'm going to add detail text here maybe you can reduce the size you can give some gray color I'm going to select both this text press ctrl d to duplicate and then add it next to each icon you can see here let me just align it properly press ctrl d to duplicate and then just like this you can just add one by one again press ctrl d so this will come here ctrl d now this side we need to make it a right align first of all i'm going to make it a right align here for the characters and for the shape format again align i have to make it right and then then put it again one by one and you have to make sure that it is properly aligned okay that is very very important so let me just put it here press ctrl d to duplicate and this is the last one so you can see here with this we have completed the design and if you want you can just add one more around that corner rectangle in the center okay make sure it is properly aligned also and then shape outline no outline shape will you can give any uh, dark gray color and then you can just add the main title i'll just say your headline make it bold all right and then just increase the size and put it in the center so you can see with this we have completed the design and if you want to add some basic animation to it you can add the animation to it